when you and I make commitments to support families and children on their journey of faith it, when they're baptized, supporting campus ministry at DCPC is a direct fulfillment of our baptismal vows for those children and for their families. There's a kind of a symbiotic relationship here. The church is here because the college is here, and the college is here because the church is here. The church, the larger church, designated this to be a place where there'd be a Presbyterian college. And there being a college here, the church is here to minister to it. The campus minister from Davidson College Presbyterian Church needs to be a theologically educated clergy person. The students at Davidson are extremely bright and very curious. And they're asking all kinds of complex questions in the world that we live in today. So to have someone who has deep biblical knowledge and who also has theological sophistication is vital for that person to be able to converse with those students about the things that are really on their hearts and minds. I came into college as a lifelong churchgoer, uh, but obviously as a freshman, like so many of us do, we had questions, doubts, and just a desire to explore my faith. And I found DCPC's uh, campus ministry, a place that could hold all of those questions. I appreciate that there is a place during those four years of a college experience to invite people into transformative experiences of faith, helping them ask these questions that are so human and helping them figure out how they want to respond with their lives. In having the associate pastor work so closely with you, Kirk, and the campus ministry here, um, made DCPC a really accessible community to me. UKIRK has made me a, a lot more uh, reflective person in terms of giving me a space to think about my faith, not just individually, but among peers. So being able to have discussions about my faith and, and my values and, and how I can be the best student and person is really all rooted in having that UKIRK experience. Newkirk was the first church that I had ever been a part of. Claire was always encouraging us to wrestle with our faith and to dig deeper into scripture. She was always encouraging us to take what we heard on Sundays and apply that during the week to what we were learning in class on Monday, to use it as bread for the journey, which was the name of our weekly ecumenical Bible study that Claire helped lead. UKIRK is one of the few uh, campus ministries on the Davidson College campus that welcomes, affirms, and includes LGBTQ students. UKIRK is also one of the few campus ministries that women can join and have uh, an opportunity to become ordained ministers. Uh, so the critical elements of outreach and inclusion are life-changing and life-saving. Campus ministry is an absolutely critical aspect of DCPC, and I say this in two respects. As a seminary professor who needs Davidson College to send us some of the best and brightest students to figure out how church and ministry are going to work uh, during this transitional and precarious time. I also say this as a father uh, whose daughter, Virginia, uh, who's a junior at Davidson, whose experience in terms of her intellectual and spiritual formation in her faith journey uh, just wouldn't be the same without a vibrant UKIRK ministry uh, of which she's a regular part. My life would not be the same without DCPC's campus ministry. It was the first Christian space where I felt like I could bring all my questions, all my doubts, really my full self, and still feel welcomed. At the church I'd attended in high school, you didn't belong to the community until you believed in all of the right things. But at DCPC, I belonged first. And it was through that experience of belonging and being known and loved in a community that ultimately shaped what I came to believe about God and is ultimately why I chose to pursue ministry. So when I think about sustainable funding for DCPC's campus ministry, my hope is that the funding is not simply to ensure that this campus ministry will survive. My hope is that the desire for sustainable funding is the belief 
that you are inviting people into transformative experiences of faith. And you want to ensure that you can fund that invitation again and again and again, year after year after year. Uh, our motto for this whole process has been that we have a privilege and a mission all at once. DCPC is at the ground zero for the ministry on this campus of Presbyterian Church USA. And we're in a unique place to do it and do it well. For that, we need a permanent ordained associate pastor in this church who is designated only to do campus ministry. And that's our mission and our challenge just now. We must meet it.